Welcome to News Today with Universal Parks News Today. I'm Eric Morton, and here is the news for August 8th, 2023. The Halloween Horror Nights 32 entrance archway trusses have been installed near the front of Universal Studios Florida. The entrance is usually after the park's front gates in Production Central, but, well, most of the land has been transformed into Minions land. Uh, the entrance trusses create a box over the street outside the Universal Studios store. There is no theming on the trusses just yet, but there are things being added every day. They may be home to neon Halloween Horror Nights signs, but the setup is also smaller than the usual trusses. The scare zone will be Dr. Oddfellow's collection of horror. The doctor will lure guests into Halloween Horror Nights with a promise of immortality as he lifts the veil on all the horrors to come. You'll soon realize you may not even survive the night. Uh, more props have also been added to the Music Fest stage in the Vamp 69 Scare Zone. There's now a psychedelic pink and orange backdrop with a sigil in the center. Instruments on stage include an acoustic guitar decorated with flowers. There are bongos on a platform at the back of the stage and a striped blanket covering what appears to be a drum set. Most recently, a brightly covered bus has been parked in front of Revenge of the Mummy, so watch out for those hippies. They get dangerous. Uh, here's the description. At a 60s music fest in a small New York town, you'll jam to popular bands with fellow concert goers until Dr. Oddfellow unleashes vicious vampires on the audience. They're out for your blood. And over in Central Park, a.k.a. Jungle of Doom, the tail of a crashed plane sticks out of the ground behind temporary fencing. It resembles a vintage plane with a green tint in blue lettering. On the side, it says Versal Airways with Universal cut off, I guess, in half there. The tail is blocking one of the Central Park entrances. Lastly, we spotted this black wooden box on wheels at the Jungle of Doom Scare Zone. Uh, this one is set in the 1920s when Dr. Oddfellow was performing horrific experiments on nature. Now his monsters creations are running amok and coming after you. Dr. Oddfellow is the icon of this year's event, although marketing will likely lean more towards pushing those IP-related houses like The Last of Us and Stranger Things. Dr. Oddfellow was first introduced to Halloween Horror Nights 10 in the Fear House. Jack the Clown, a frequently recurring Halloween Horror Nights icon, once worked for Dr. Oddfellow. One of this year's houses is Dr. Oddfellow's Twisted Origins, and all of the scare zones relate to him. Universal Orlando Resort has told guests who have signed up for Behind the Screams Unmasking the Horror Tour which Halloween Horror Nights 32 houses they will be exploring. Behind the Screams Unmasking the Horror Tour is a daytime lights-on tour of either three or six haunted houses. Theme park and or Halloween Horror Nights admission is not included nor is it required. The three-house tour starts at $119.99 per person, while the six-house tour starts at $169.99 per person. The three-house tour will include The Last of Us. Quick note, we also learned this week that the original actors, Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson, who played Joel and Ellie in The Last of Us video games, will reprise their roles with newly recorded voice lines for Halloween Horror Nights 2023. Uh, the Darkest Deal will be one of the other houses, and Dr. Oddfellow's Twisted Origins. The Six House Tour will include Stranger Things 4, Universal Monsters Unmasked, Chucky Ultimate Kill Count, Yeti Campground Kills, Dueling Dragons Choose Thy Fate, and Blood Moon Dark Offerings. Lots of colons in <laughs> Halloween Horror Nights this year. The only one of the Halloween Horror Nights 32 houses not included is The Exorcist Believer. Too bad, that's probably a fun one. Due to the intensely graphic nature and lights on viewing within the haunted houses, the unmasking the horror tours are not recommended for children under the age of 13. No costumes or costume masks are allowed. This program is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsor, Be Our Guest Vacations. Your dream vacation begins with Be Our Guest Vacations and their concierge team of expert vacation planners. The best part is their concierge services are 100% free. Head over to BeOurGuestVacations.com slash WWNT and the team will design your next epic vacation from Universal Parks to Walt Disney World and Disneyland Resorts, Disney Cruise Line, uh, Virgin Voyages, Royal Caribbean, and more. Check out BeOurGuestVacations.com slash WWNT. A brand new two-part guide map has debuted at the Universal Orlando Resort featuring Illumination's Villain Con Minion Blast on the cover. The bright artwork on the front of the map isn't the only change. Let's take a look deeper inside and see what else has been updated. Besides seasonal map covers, the standard two-part maps for Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios Florida have featured VelociCoaster artwork since the attraction opened back in 2021. 
Now that the brand new Minion Land is officially opening on August 11th, the new maps feature the artwork for VillainCon Minion Blast. Inside we find Minion Land and all of its offerings are now listed in the guide. Illuminations VillainCon Minion Blast, Despicable Me Minion Mayhem, and the Illumination Theater are three things to experience in land. The dining options for Minion Land consist of Bake My Day, Freeze Ray Pops, Illuminations Minion Cafe, and Pop Anana. The area is designed for families and kids. Goodbye Production Central, the front section of Universal Studios Florida, was called Production Central but appears to have been completely dissolved. Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket is, well, it's now part of New York, as odd as that sounds. Woody Woodpecker's Kid Zone remains on the map, even though most of it's been destroyed or permanently closed. Universal Orlando recently announced the new DreamWorks land is being added to this part of the park, and that will open in 2024. Universal Parks and Resorts became Universal Destinations and Experiences earlier this year and debuted new logos for the parks. Along with the new logos, the names changed slightly. Universal's Islands of Adventure now appears as Universal. Universal Islands of Adventure on the map. A Universal City Walk is also listed. Hello, Chucky. A new Hello Kitty Chucky collection has arrived at Universal Orlando Resort. The collection includes a spirit jersey, pin, and t-shirt, but more will reportedly be available soon. This is the IP crossover you did not know you needed. These items are available with some other Chucky merchandise and that standard Hello Kitty merchandise at the Hello Kitty store in Universal Studios, Florida. There's a spirit jersey, which is reminiscent of Chucky's denim overalls with a few red slashes of stitches across the front. Hello Kitty Chucky is in red lettering with a white border on the left breast above an image of Chucky-fied versions of the Hello Kitty face. Uh, the classic kid-friendly cartoon has a torn-up red bow and stitches across her face. Hello Kitty Chucky is in larger letters across the back. This sells for $80. Next up, we have a pin with Hello Kitty in her own version of the iconic Chucky outfit, including a rainbow-striped t-shirt and good girls overalls pattern with hearts. This sells for $18. The same design is also on a white and red ringer t-shirt. That is $33. David S. Pumpkins, a famous Saturday Night Live character, will reportedly appear at Peacock's Halloween Horror Bar during Halloween Horror Nights 32 at the Universal Orlando Resort. Tom Hanks originated the role of David S. Pumpkins on the October 22, 2016 episode of SNL. The sketch, written by Mikey Day, Bobby Moynihan, and Streeter Seidel, has a couple riding a Tower of Terror-esque ride called the 100 Floors of Frights. David S. Pumpkins, a man in a pumpkin pattern suit, continues to appear and dance with two skeletons. That's Day and Moynihan. Uh, and his catchphrase, any questions? <laughs> David S. Pumpkins went viral. He starred in the animated 2017, the David S. Pumpkins Halloween special, and returned to SNL for a 2022 sketch. This would not be the first uh, time the character has appeared at Halloween Horror Nights. He previously cameoed in Bill and Ted's excellent Halloween adventure. Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket is scheduled to temporarily close later this month at Universal Studios. The ride is set to close on August 14th, with the closure scheduled to last through August 18th. While the reason for the closure has not been shared, it's likely for annual refurbishment. A closure also happened around this time last year. Villain Con Minion Blast will officially open with the rest of Minion Land, as, again, as we said, on August 11th. Well, until then, the ride has been operating sporadically for technical rehearsals and now annual pass holder previews, which means we can finally take photos inside and share them with you. Illumination's Villain Con Minion Blast is themed to the fictional Villain Con featuring the Vicious Six. The convention was featured in Minions set in 1968. While the ride is set in modern day, uh, with Villain Con visiting Universal Studios Florida. At any rate, now that we are allowed to take and share photos of the queue, you can see the full walkthrough on UniversalParksNewsToday.com. You can support the entire team behind this show and others by joining the WDWNT Interglobe Society at patreon.com slash WDWNT. Get access to exclusive content, discounted show and event tickets, and more. A special shout-out to all the Wigs members watching who make this show happen each and every week. 
For more information on these stories and all those that didn't make it onto the show, head on over to universalparksnewstoday.com. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to Universal Parks News Today on YouTube for more great content, click that bell for notifications, and make sure to hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of News Today with Universal Parks News Today. For UPNT, this is Eric Morton saying the future is whatever you make it, so make it a good one. Now on WWNT TV, it's Boxed In. Boxed In is a casually chaotic show featuring WWNT personalities Eric Morton and Jill Diffendahl, unboxing Disney merchandise and viewer packages, along with a few friends and a bossy little Pomeranian. So smash that like button, subscribe, and comment, and keep up with the new Disney merchandise releases, seasonal releases, festival merchandise, limited edition merchandise, wishables, pins, and more. Join us Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern on WWNT-TV.